It is time for those of you in the Muslim world to stop fighting among yourselves, you Shiites and Sunnis. And also time to stop regarding the Christians, and even more specifically, the Jews, as your enemies. Sister, these people hate each other, they have theological differences, they kill each other. Um, because guess what brought the hatred between the Sunnis and the Shias? Muhammad did. Because he said, there's only one sect that will go to, to paradise, and the rest are going to hell. And the rest are uh, munafiqeen, they are um, hypocrites. And guess where the hypocrites are? In the lowest part of hell. And Muslims are told to fight and kill the hypocrites and the unbelievers. So everybody thinks the other sect is the hypocrite and the unbeliever, and they kill each other and finish each other off. And they've been doing that since the minute he died. The minute he died, the first thing that Abu Bakr did was go, call um, people who wouldn't give this care, call them apostates, and have the apostate wars for two years. Call them apostates, they were Muslims, and he went and killed them. That's what Omar did afterwards. He went outside and started killing unbelievers and conquering their lands. Then he says, sister, those who pretend, those who say they follow God should act like it. I ask him, which God? The God of Islam says different things and gives different commands than the God of the Bible. The God of Islam is arrogant. He calls himself a mutakabbir, the arrogant, the prideful. The God in the Bible is humble and lowly. The Lord Jesus Christ says he's humble and lowly. The God of Islam is the deceiver, al makir The God of the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no deceit found in his mouth. The God of Islam tells Muslims, like we've seen, sister, through the, 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 his fake prophet Muhammad, to go and fight people until they say there is, that they, they come to Islam. The God of uh, the Bible, Jesus Christ, says, you proclaim the gospel to a city. If they don't believe you, you shake, you, you shake the dust off your feet and walk on in peace. If you go into a, a house, you give them your peace. They don't receive it. You have the, your peace returned to you. It doesn't say fight for them to change their beliefs. So I say to you, which God? They're not the same. If you follow the God of the Bible, then yes, you have peace. And that's what the epistles are about that say, that say you have been saved. Act like it. Paul's letters to the Corinthians and others. You have been saved. Leave the bad life behind and become a new creation. Stop your moralities and sins and disputes and fights and become peaceful like the Lord, Jesus Christ told us. In Islam, the more peace, the more, the more people become devoted and get closer to the Quran, the more you find uh, uh, things like ISIS spring up, terrorist groups, and the more violent they become, the closer they go to their God because it's the opposite God. So the solution is for the millionth time, Jordan Peterson, if you want people to become peaceful, leave the fake God that tells them to do these horrible, th these horrible things and come to the real God who's in the Bible, and then they become more peaceful.